Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa mawala. Asyhadu alla ilaha illallah wa hadaula syarikala wa asyhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. Amma ba'd. Para pemirsa yang dirahmati Allah, kali ini kita akan menyaksikan kisah mu'alaf dari Kanada. Seorang gadis cantik asal Kanada menceritakan bagaimana awal mula ia tertarik untuk memeluk dinul Islam untuk masuk agama Islam. Tak perlu panjang lebar untuk bahasa basinya, langsung saja kita saksikan kisah mu'alaf berikut ini. Okay. Hi everybody. Um, this is like super different for me. I never like sit down and make videos. I've never even made a video in general before. So, um, hi. Welcome. Um, literally the only reason I'm making this video today is because of the amount of like DMs and just questions I get on my Instagram. Um, I kind of just wanted to like sit and make a video about my journey, a bit about my life, my history, um, just so like people can get to know me more. As you can see by the title, I'm making this video today just for one purpose. Um, I honestly just wanted to talk about Islam and I wanted to talk about my journey with Islam. Um, I've been getting so many questions like on Instagram, in my DMs, and um, that's the only place that I get questions normally. But I've been getting questions from people as young as like 15 um, and as old as like 30 about Islam and why I converted. Um, I'm going to talk about the difference between convert and revert in a minute, but um, I just wanted to sit down. I'm going to do my makeup while I talk about it because I feel like it would just be kind of boring if I just sat here. So um, I already have my concealer on, but I'm going to talk about my journey and my life. Um, if you're not curious about it, then you don't have to watch this video. Like It's going to be boring to you. I'm just making this video solely because I've got so many people that are really, really curious about this and about my life for some reason, and they just want to know more. Um, maybe there's like a little girl that's like going through YouTube and it's like five in the morning and she's researching every single religion on earth and she comes across this video and she learns something. That's kind of the whole point of me making this video because I was her, like I stayed up until 5 a.m for like <laughs> six months looking at people's revert videos, watching videos about Islam, you know, and like subhanAllah, it really comes like full circle, me making, me making this video today. Um, I'm gonna try and make it like as little cuts as possible because like I'm not perfect, this video is not gonna be perfect. I just want it to feel like really chill and we can just like talk it out, you know? So. I'm gonna start my makeup and let's get into it. The cat in the background, that's my new cat. His name is Moo and he's literally the love of my life. Like I'm obsessed with him. He's the sweetest cat ever. He just sleeps all day, like literally all day. And um, at night he plays, but I just fall asleep. And then I wake up at like 5.30 when he wants to play again. But it, it's kind of nice, it's like an alarm for Fajr, so Fajr prayer is the first prayer of the day, um, if anybody doesn't know. Pray five times a day as a Muslim, and um, I love praying actually, like, once you get into a habit of it, it's kind of just like meditating, like, it's so calming, and it feels so good after, like, I don't know, it's the most important thing that I do during the day, and... It just has the most importance like even if i'm in a class i pause my class to go make wudu and pray um also if i use any arabic words during this video i will only use arabic words if they have to do with islam um i'm really not going to say arabic words that like aren't part of the islamic language because i don't know arabic <laughs> i speak fluent English, French, and Spanish, but I don't know Arabic yet. Um, inshallah, one day I will speak fluent Arabic too with my kids because it's so beautiful. But um, 
if I say any Arabic word that normal society won't understand, I'll put the definition of it on the screen just so it makes more sense. Um, so inshallah, you guys will understand what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. So in terms of makeup, um, I put the this Makeup Revolution concealer. It has like a little puff at the end and I put it all over my face um, in the areas that need help because I have so many acne scars, it's not even funny. Like I couldn't care less at this point. Like everybody has seen my skin at its worst, at its worst. And I've tried so many different products that I'm just like, I don't even care anymore, you know? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show them to you, why not? Um, my skin is a lot better though. Like it used to be so much worse. And I've been using like CeraVe Sarah Sarah v products for like most, I think six months, ever since quarantine started, I've been using them and it helps so much. Like my skin used to be so much worse than this and literally it's so much better. So thanks to them. I was like watching TikToks and I came across um, makeup by Hiram, I think it is. And he just does skincare like all day. So that's where I learned about the CeraVe products and they've been working really well for my skin. Like. I used to have cystic acne on my chin. I would get it like near my nose and I just have so many scars that I'm trying to like heal my skin now. So it's been working really well, alhamdulillah. Like it looks so much better than it used to. Um, I'm gonna use bronzer now and um, I'm gonna start talking about me. <laughs> if you don't even care about like what I'm gonna talk about in today's video, honestly, just exit. Like I don't, need like random comments on this video saying like that i'm you know that i'm ugly or disgusting or whatever i get those dms every day um just from random people and um yeah i'm not perfect that's the first thing i'm gonna say like i have tattoos i once lived a different life than i am living right now so don't come into this video thinking that you're gonna see a perfect muslim woman because she doesn't exist everyone is unique in their own way and everyone devotes their time to their god their own way and um i just want to tell my story because i'm sure that there are little people watching youtube right now thinking like oh i i need help like i need someone to talk to with that being said my DMs are always open. Literally, I'm gonna put my Instagram in the description so you guys can like use my Instagram as a tool because the amount of DMs I've already got from people is astounding. Just after converting like four or five months ago, I've gotten like, I'm not popular, I'm just saying I got like probably around 20 dms like just in that period of time from people like questioning you know why should i convert why is this religion better than other religions why is catholicism not good enough etc etc now don't get me wrong i'm not going to talk about like i'm not going to be comparing different religions in this video because that's not what i'm here to do i'm literally just here to tell you about my life and like what i did um, if you want to do your own research, please do it, but I'm not going to be over here bashing different religions on this video. Um, it's not about that for me, it's literally just about like telling you about my life and that's it. So, so if the quality sucks, it's because I'm filming this on my phone, <laughs> like I don't have this huge like camera system thing with like a microphone and everything. Honey, I'm filming this on my phone. like. You can hear the trees and the birds in the background, so I'm sorry about that, but can't, we can't have it all, right? Um, I'm gonna start off by saying, like I said before, <clears throat> I speak English, um, Spanish, and French fluently. I'm learning Arabic right now. I'm taking uh, the first year course in university. <clears throat> I am in second year university currently and I'm studying global and international studies. My major is law and social justice and inshallah one day I hope to be either an interpreter or a human rights officer. So 
that's kind of my background that's what i want to do with my life um yeah so let me start off with Honestly, quarantine is kind of where the story ends because that's when I took my Shahada, which is uh, the conversion, like the recitation. It's like, you know, in Catholicism, when you have your baptism, it's that same thing, but for Islam. So um, my story starts probably like a year and a half ago to a year ago when I started getting interested in Islam. I think everything actually started when I got a job at a daycare and if anybody from kids kingdom is watching this video hi y'all um there were two girls in particular they already know who they are mel and zara my loves of my life um every time i would show up to my shift if i look over here by the way it's because there's a mirror um just in case you're wondering every time i would show up for my shift and they were there honey we would talk about islam we would talk about life especially specifically religion and it's kind of crazy looking back how many things they taught me about the religion in such a short period of time and the thing that i loved about it was literally going home after my shift and just researching what they told me and like finding out new things for myself or like you know just like growing my brain a bit you know because i was not very educated to be completely honest i didn't know anything about other religions um obviously like i took world religions in high school but that didn't do anything like you know my teacher was kind of whack so um i didn't really learn much and having those two girls at work literally like i was so excited to go in for my shift because i knew they would be there and i knew what we would talk about so it just felt so good like learning from such educated brilliant beautiful women and like subhanallah like they just like changed my mindset completely and i don't think that they know that like i'm pretty sure i told mel but like i just they honestly like changed my view of religion in general like so yeah i'm just really thankful for them alhamdulillah like they have helped me so much so like i said i would show up at work and we would just spend the entire shift talking and that's kind of like where it started um Keep in mind, when I'm mentioning my, my life before Islam, I I wasn't Muslim at that point, so I was dating people, I was going clubbing, I was drinking, partying, etc. And I thought I was happy, and I wasn't. <laughs> like, I actually wasn't. It was kind of this, like, false sense of happiness that I was experiencing. Going to the club literally every Friday, like a clock, literally, like, clockwork. I would wake up, go to the club, wake up the next morning, you know, throw up, be hungover, and then go to work and make money. And it was like, there was no purpose in my life. I had no purpose and I felt nothing. It's kind of like I was just numb, honestly. And um, it just wasn't, it wasn't fun. Like, and I say this because like, for me, it wasn't fun. Um, and I'm not judging or blaming anybody who still has that lifestyle go for it like if it makes you happy and if you feel good doing it then go for it but like in terms of my life if it's if we're talking about you know what led me to islam like i just have to be honest and um it did make me happy so that's why if i say something like that i'm not judging anybody i'm literally just like pointing out you know what happened but um i was meeting you know people who i thought were my friends at the club turns out they weren't um, I became friends with some really, really ugly people, like ugly on the inside, not the outside. Um, some of them ended up going to jail. Um, it was just messy. It was really messy. Like I did not have a good life before I was introduced to Islam and I'm just so thankful. Like I'm, it's like, I'm looking back and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, my life was crazy bro like i don't i can't even un like explain it because it's it's too much but um i was just not happy and i thought i was which was crazy because now seeing how happy i am and knowing what i know now it's like why did i even bother with these people you know like they were subsequently ruining my life without even knowing it and i was allowing them to so 
flash forward after the whole like clubbing dating scene whatever i did date a few muslims when i was not muslim and um great people but um i just got over it like i realized they weren't for me <laughs> and that's okay that's completely fine but they helped me they helped introduce me more to the religion as well even if they weren't like praying and actually like actively actively practicing their religion they guided me towards it as well because i saw them as muslims and i went home and i like researched and i educated myself and i did everything um because i saw them as you know they identified as that so i became even more interested honestly i feel like university was like an eye opener because i saw so many more muslims at school than usual like i used to go to catholic schools like my whole um child like my childhood and that's it it was just a pile of white kids and we you know said oh canada in the morning and did our our father prayer and it was just like stuff it a lot it was just the same thing over and over again it was like a cycle um i actually used to go to church with my dad every single sunday and i was so happy but like for the completely wrong reasons the reason i was happy going to church is because i wanted so badly to believe in something and i didn't care what it was like at the point i was just like so done with life i was like i need to believe in something i need like there has to be a purpose in my mind like to me there's like an answer for everything in my mind like there has to be a purpose for everything and everything happens for a reason so with that belief in my head i'm like okay i need to believe in something and there's nothing here that is showing me what's truthful and i'm not bashing christians again like beautiful people i'm glad they have a faith in something um it just wasn't for me personally this is my experience and like not bashing anybody not bashing anybody else's religion but it wasn't for me um if anybody from Tr trinity is watching this video bruh after father steve happened i was like god damn who can i trust you know who can i trust because it was like all of these like figures all of these people that were supposed to be role models were literally becoming like monsters and i just saw the catholic religion as a business i did not see it as a religion whatsoever anymore and it was sad like it was sad to me you go to church you give them some money they didn't really use it to fix up the church they kind of just took your money and you know you left and then i heard about father steve and i was like god damn i what do i do now what, what can i believe in because this obviously is not the right thing to believe in this obviously is hurting people and like i don't want to believe in that so like it was hard as like a young kid to realize like i had all these beliefs that had to do with islam but everyone was telling me that it was such a bad religion and that it was you know like that it was a terrorist religion so it was pushing me farther away from it even though it was the religion that i was supposed to believe in for this whole time so after high school and that whole scene with like the priest and everything stuff with Allah, like all that happened and um i wouldn't say there was one thing in like in particular that guided me to follow islam i let me see if these are gonna look cute hold on <laughs> no okay anyway um like i said there wasn't one thing that guided me to like follow islam it was kind of a bunch of things like clumped together so you know the people from the daycare that i worked at um the people that i dated um even just clubbing and stuff like once you're at such a low point it's like you're so motivated to just research things that are going to make you happier and make your life better and i truly believe that like i started researching islam for a reason and alhamdulillah i did because i can't even explain to you how happy i am now and it's crazy people can just notice it like when they talk to me or when they see me they're like wow you just look genuinely happy and i think that's the best compliment that you can receive um the hardest part obviously was like telling my parents 
and this is the type of DM that I get all the time. Um, there was this little 15 year old boy from, I want to say Russia. He DM'd me and was asking like, okay, I believe in Islam. I'm Muslim in my heart, but my parents are very like, very, very Christian. What do I do? How do I tell them? You know, like, how do I go about this? Do I just tell them straight up, like, look, I believe in this, I'm Muslim? Or do I kind of, like, slowly get them, like, warmed up to it? And honestly, my answer to him was probably the only answer that you can give a little child um, who's, like, interested in this religion. Like, I'm so proud of him, first of all, for, like, coming to me and, like, asking these questions because... I want to help you know like he has such a beautiful heart and is so innocent and i just love that he cared so much to talk about it because a lot of people just are like oh they're my parents like they're gonna love me no matter what and yes they should but at the same time that you're making this huge change in your life you have to respect them as well and respect goes both ways right so, um with that being said, my parents were like not chill with it at the beginning. It was like very toxic at the beginning, let me say, if that makes sense. Like it was kind of like I was very standing firm on my beliefs and said, yes, this is what I believe in and this is what I'm going to do. And um, I didn't get the best, like I didn't receive like the best answers from that it was more like okay what about isis what about this what about that it was kind of like pointing out all the negatives and i just said look you know what as long as i'm not hurting anybody as long as this isn't detrimental to our family then i'm gonna do it you know like i've never done anything in my life that hurts the people around me and if i did i wouldn't do it and this is one of those things like i'm not hurting anybody so if it makes me happy i will go through with it and we will all learn as the time goes by that I'm the, still the exact same person that I've always been. I just have a belief system that follows this certain religion and I'm not going to keep it to myself. I want to be vocally happy and I want to vocally devote my life to my God because it makes sense to me. Um, another like kind of question I get in terms of Islam is hijab. That's like a whole nother video in itself. I don't know if I'm gonna make a whole nother video um, to do with hijab because like honestly, I don't know, It to me it was just so easy. And I, I know like for a lot of girls, it's not easy. And a lot of girls just think, oh, I'm wearing the hijab because why am I, you know, like attracting men to me? Am I doing this? Am I doing that? It's not even about the men per se. Hijab was inspired by Mary as a way to like literally have people look at you for your personality and not just your body. And like it's 2020, love yourself, love your body. If you're confident wearing whatever it is you wear, then wear it, like honestly wear it and feel confident because you feel beautiful on the inside, not because other people are telling you that by wearing this you'll feel beautiful, etc. I started wearing hijab like literally even before I took my shahada. Um, I ended up taking my shahada at the end of Ramadan this year, the one that just passed. Um, May 24th, I think it was, the that, that, that night actually, I was literally like on the bathroom floor and I was like, you know what, I'm alone, I'm going to take it. I ended up DMing this um, like help Instagram help for reverts and um, I can't remember the name of it actually. I think it was honestly called revert help or revert team or something like that. And they helped me through the whole process. Like mashallah, like they literally helped me through the whole thing. Such a sweet lady. And she basically um, recited the Shahada, which is um, what you have to say uh, to be able like, to convert to Islam, which is like a sentence Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasulu You say that um, as you want, like 
you know, you say that when you convert, but you actually say that when you're making wudu, when you're cleansing yourself before you pray. Usually people say that at the end to kind of like seal their wudu, um, the cleansing. And that's kind of like what you say to to convert. And you actually say that during prayer as well. It's kind of just like a seal of your faith to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And um, that's just how it went. It was super easy. Like I literally right after taking my shahada, I just started bawling my eyes out because... Something came over me and I was just like, oh my gosh, like I feel so like full, if that makes sense. To be honest, after taking my shahada, I didn't really tell my parents that I took my shahada. I kind of kept it to myself, started wearing hijab like full time and started praying five times a day and learning how to pray properly because when I started praying, I wasn't doing it properly. I was just praying in English and I was just like on the floor like probably bawling my eyes out and um, not really knowing what to say like I didn't know Arabic at all like whatsoever so like that was kind of part of it like I didn't know what to say I didn't know the word the right words to say but I could still feel like he was accepting my prayers because I was in such like you know when you're a revert you don't know what to do yet and Allah is still there for you like I if you're someone watching this and you're a weaver and you're scared to pray there's so many tools and resources on YouTube especially but if it's like your first night praying and you don't know what to say he's still listening like he knows everything that that goes on in your heart and in your mind and that's all you need to know like stop caring about what people think people are gonna think whatever they want to no matter what literally you could like stop i could i could stop wearing hijab stop being muslim and people would still judge me and the fact that i did it they will judge me as well but taking it off they'll judge me also so just stop caring do exactly what you want to do and the right people will follow you no matter what you do the wrong people you didn't need them anyways they were literally a waste of your time so there's no reason that you need to keep them in your life like literally they're not worth it i just want to see like a full video in terms of like hijab and like the journey and the story and like everything like that let me know like i'll do any video you want to see i just doubt people are even going to care so that's why i'm making this video uh for anybody who does care <laughs> for anybody that like went on my instagram saw the link and is just like genuinely curious about why i chose islam it's a scientific research bro it's everything it's all the proof that i have it's knowing that literally the quran was the science that scientists didn't even know about like all of these people thinking that scientists knew about like the like space exploration and all this stuff the fact that they thought that they thought that science came up with what has to do with a woman's uterus no nah, honey it came from the quran literally more than 1400 years ago and um that's just the truth like to me, there was nothing that doubted me and there is still nothing that doubts me on my decision that I made to revert to Islam. And honestly, I'm just so happy that I made this decision and I wanted to make this video. Hopefully, inshallah, it helped somebody, like one person, to feel like, you know, like I'm, I'm not alone. Like I come from Canada. I live in the capital of Canada. I'm 19 years old. I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I had a bad past, like, I've, I had a completely different life than I do right now, but if I can motivate somebody to, like, go out and research for themselves and just, like, find the truth about life, then, like, 100% I'll do that, you know? There's, like, no doubt in my mind. Obviously, I might have, like, missed a few things in this video, so if you're genuinely curious about anything else, if it's to do with Islam or if it's to do with my life, then my Instagram is always open. My DMs are always open. Everything is there, so please use the resources that you have. 
um, you can always DM me and ask any questions you need. If you're curious, if you have doubts about something, please just text me. Like, please. Um, I don't mind. I've already answered like multiple people about the questions they have and hopefully I answered them correctly. But again, like I said, I'm not perfect. I don't know everything. I'm still learning every single day. So if I don't answer something properly or I don't know what to say, then please do your own research, okay? Even if I say something, do your own research anyways so that you can understand it yourself and make your own opinion. You don't even have to like trust everybody else's opinion around you. You should form your own because that's the best opinion that you can have. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, like I said, if you have any other questions, please DM me. And just thank you for like sitting here and listening to this. Um, if I missed anything, again, ask me because I'm sure I missed a bunch of shit. But um, yeah, thank you for watching again. I'll see you soon. Bye. Itu tadi kisah mu'alaf selebgram cantik asal Kanada yang bernama Alexandra Lloyd. Kasus korupsi seorang pastor di gereja tempat seorang selebgram asal Kanada beribadah menjadi awal mula kisahnya untuk menjadi seorang mu'alaf. Setelah terjadinya kasus tersebut, Alexandra Lloyd yang sebelum masuk Islam hidup dengan penuh hura-hura. Setiap Jumat, pergi ke diskotik untuk joget-joget dan lain sebagainya mabuk-mabuk dan lain sebagainya akhirnya mendapatkan hidayah dari Allah Subhanahu ta'ala dan memutuskan untuk masuk agama Islam semoga istiqomah amin jangan lupa klik like, share, dan subscribe channel ini agar lebih banyak lagi orang-orang yang mendapatkan manfaat dari tayangan yang kami Sukukan untuk Anda semuanya. Sampai jumpa pada video berikutnya. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.